Hey, what's up guys? My name is Dustin and today we're going to talk about one of the simplest yet most essential things you can do to get your 3D printer running really well. Calibrating the extruder. The first thing you're going to want to do is turn on the 3D printer, obviously. If you're doing this from the LCD menu, then preheat your hot end to whatever temperature you need for the filament you're using. If you're doing this from a computer software, don't worry, I'll mention that later in the video. Take a ruler and line it up with your filament already primed and in the extruder, and mark 100 millimeters up from the base of the extruder. As you can see right here, that little sharpie mark is what we're going to be watching for. Head into your LCD and head over to your move axis, move one millimeter, and extruder. And now you're going to want to turn the knob until you get to 100 millimeters. Now doing it this way is fairly slow because you can't just turn it all the way to 100 really quickly. You have to essentially let it extrude a little bit and turn it step by step by step. If you're doing it on a software like Repetier, you can just manually enter extrude 100 millimeters and it'll do it all for you. But if you insist on doing it from the LCD, this is one way to do it. Be careful once you get up to 100 because as soon as you hit 100 you want to push in the LCD button and get it out of there so it stops at 100. As you can see here, you can't even see the mark that I made, but it's actually slightly recessed inside. Um, this is because I've already calibrated my extruder. If you're under extruding just a little bit, you should see the black mark just outside of the extruder. Go ahead and use your ruler again and measure. In this case, I'm going to say it's 2 millimeters. If you want to do this from a control software like Repetier, it's actually very easy. You head on over to the menu controls and hit the 1 arrow 100 down. You don't want to use the 2 arrow because it's actually a little fast and it can cause skipping and cause inaccurate results. Otherwise, you can also enter a G code, G1 E 100. That's going to send a G code that says extrude 100 millimeters. Now if you do do it this way using G-code, you do want to enter G92E0.0 afterwards so it'll zero out the extruder. Um, if you don't do that, then trying to extrude it afterwards is going to cause issues. Now to open up the Arduino software and open up your firmware that you currently have loaded onto your 3D printer. Um, in this case, you can go to configuration.h if you're using Marlin and scroll all the way down to this line right here, which is the default steps per millimeter for everything. The first value is going to be your X, then your Y, and then your Z, and your E, which is the one that we want. If you happen to see a fifth value, that's going to be your second extruder, and you probably have a dual extruder uh, 3D printer or dual extruder firmware. Now this is the easy part. Punch the information into this formula you see right here. The 100 millimeters is because we were extruding 100 millimeters. Current steps is what we have currently in the firmware, and measured is 100 minus what your leftover bit would be. Since our leftover was 2, we'll put 98 because 100 minus 2 is 98. And then once you get that value, go ahead and punch it into your firmware, upload the firmware, and repeat the entire process once again. Um, you want to do this just to try to see how close you can get to absolutely perfect. You really should only need to do it maybe twice, and that should be just enough for you. How did I get this on here? Ha! So I hope you guys found that video informative. Uh, calibrating the extruder is one of those really important things that everyone should know how to do and everyone should do it. Um, your steps per millimeter might be dead on perfect from the factory uh, and the stock firmware, no problem, regardless of the printer that you have. Other people aren't so lucky. Um, if you're having under extrusion or over extrusion problems, definitely something you're going to want to check. Um, also, something like the uh, drive gear that's inside the extruder, as that wears out, the circumference of it becomes a little bit different. So over time, it may start to under extrude or over extrude, depending on what's going on. Um, and that's why you want to check your steps per millimeter and calibrate your extruder every so often, just to be sure. Like I said, the stock firmware, especially for Folger Tech printers, is pretty much dead nuts on. Uh, but it's good to check just in case, especially if you change your stock extruder, um, you change it out to some aftermarket extruder, you're definitely going to need to do something like this. So now you know how to do it. So that's good. So anyway, I hope you found this video informative. Uh, more videos to come. Please, if you enjoyed this video, like the video, share the video, even think about subscribing to this channel because it helps me out, gets these videos out there, helps other people, gets people into 3D printing and printing successfully. So that's what I want. So... 
Anyway, till the next video, I will see y'all later.